Well, actually, when I came first time to visit the site, I remember uh, I was very impressed in the, the location, the, the, the possibility to look 360 degrees around, and also the, the, the motto of the city, which was ex external looking, this idea that light is coming out from the earth. And, uh, well, all this combination of things, also th the idea that uh, a community just transformed completely their life from one uh, job to another, the ex-miners, now it's uh, the biggest producer of glass plates in this country, well, etc. Well, I, I immediately thought uh, the idea of future was needed, and I tried to represent uh, first with light, but then with the face of a, a young girl, this idea of future, that uh, something is coming out from Earth, which is our roots, our traditions, but trying to link with the sky, with our ideas, with our dreams. And that was a little bit the process in my ideas. Well, today I, I, I told to the, the fabricator, uh, it's a company called it Evans, uh, uh, thank you very much. I, I said that because you know that sometimes from the model, from the original ideas to the end, when, when the piece is complete, could happen a lot of things. Believe me, it's exactly, exactly as I expected to get. And that is really complicated. I think they did, uh, all the team, the engineers from Arup, this, this company Evans in Devonshire, they did an amazing job. Yeah, well, I, I did, as you probably know, many projects around the world, I like very much public space. But uh, if you think about public space, you have to accept that every place is unique and single. You cannot export ideas from one side to another. That is the reason that that project is unique for itself. I mean, it's the answer to one question, a specific question. And uh, I, I will be very pleased if one day uh, St. Helens is plenty of visitors coming to see the piece because uh, I guess one part of the beauty of public commissions is the you cannot travel with, you cannot send the piece for a show or an exhibition, whatever. The piece is there and, and we as visitors we have to move and that, I guess that piece is very unique. It's the first time that I'm introducing the head in, in my commissions. Uh, I, I like it to link that idea with the whole tradition of heads in all art history, from the Eastern cultures to South American cultures. Uh, the head was always uh, a common place where people met. It's where everything happens, our brain. It's the big, the big house, our head. And I guess it's an homage a little bit to that big tradition through history. Uh, every time I'm doing a project, the main obsession is the people who will really use the project. The, the, because I'm, I'm going inside their home, let's say, with new ideas. And uh, I guess it's a little bit premature to talk about it, but my feelings, talking with people today or other days, visiting internet, following comments, I, I guess it's very positive. Uh, Love and hate, you know, that it's normal, the direction of public commissions. But uh, that piece uh, is not a big piece. I guess it's an ambitious project, which is not the same. Because the piece is in the perfect scale of the site, but also it's a very gentle piece. It's trying to talk about tenderly. And, uh, and this idea of uh, sensitivity, the, because when you think about ex miners sounds but people very but I, I thanks to them I discovered poetry uh, amazing tender people and uh, and I guess my piece is a response to this not very evident look I, I guess it's a soul inside the body it's a soul inside the landscape <laughs>